you can clearly see how quick and easy the second method is. Please pause the video and give this a try. Five degrees. Now you can do questions like this even in your head. Hello everyone. This is GCSC Maths exam hack series. I have seen multiple questions similar to the one on the board in GCSC exams in the past. Now, the normal approach by many students uh, to a question like this is to find this interior angle of the hexagon here and then find the interior angle of the pentagon here and then try and take those two away from 360 degrees. It looks something like this. So first you need to think about the hexagon. The sum of interior angles is number of sides n minus 2 times by 180. Here it's a six sided shape. So six take away two multiplied by 180. That will be four times by 180. And you know, they all add up to 720 degrees. Now, if all of them add up to 720 degrees, what about one of them? One of them, lowercase i1, is 720 divided by the number of angles. You can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 being a hexagon. So divide it by 6 and you get 120 degrees. Now, you can repeat the exact same process for the pentagon. So let's do that. Remember, this is the long method. This is what most people do. And uh, I just need to show you how this is done. By the way, this is a correct method, but I'm telling you there is a quicker way. There's a shorter way of doing this too. So let's do the same thing. N minus 2 times by 180. N is 5. 5 take away 2 times by 180. That will be 3 times 180. That is 540 degrees. Now remember, this is for all five of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To find I2, what you can do is divide 540 degrees by 5, which gives you 108 degrees. Now, we know I1 add I2, add X should give you 360 degrees because the angles about a point add up to 360. So we already know I1 is 120 and I2 is 108 and X, I don't know, gives you 360 degrees. X is equal to 120 at 108 is 228 and I'm going to move it to the other side. So 360 degrees, take away 228, and that gives you the final answer, 132 degrees. Now, this is the method that most people do, which is okay, which is correct, but is a little bit on the long side. I'm going to teach you the hack way, the quick way, which is much quicker, but it gives exactly the same answer. Now, for this method, you do not need to find any of the interior angles. So instead, what you do is just extend this common side here. Now, let's call this exterior angle E1 and let's call this one here is E2. E1 is the exterior angle of the regular hexagon. Now we know in any regular polygon, all exterior angles add up to 360. So to find E1, all I need to do is divide 360 by 6, which gives you 60 degrees. Now we can do the same thing for the pentagon. E2 is 360 divided by 5, and that gives us 72 degrees. Now you can clearly see X is the sum of E1 and E2. So all we need to do is 60 add 72 and that gives you the answer 132 just like that it's much quicker now for comparison you can see both methods here side by side and you can clearly see how quick and easy the second method is right 
Let's see if you fully understood this. Here's a question for you. Please pause the video and give this a try. You can play the video when you want to check the answer. Let's do this. So the first step is to extend this line so that we can split this angle here. So let's call this angle E1 and let's call this angle E2. Now, I know the size of E1 is 360 degrees divided by 6 because this is a hexagon and there are 6 sides. So that will be 60 degrees. I'm going to find E2 the same way. So E2 is 360 degrees divided by, remember this is an octagon, so there are 8 sides. So that will be 45 degrees. I can definitely say the size of angle X here is the sum of E1 and E2. So all I need to do is 60 add 45 and my final answer is 105 degrees. Now you can do questions like this even in your head. If you want to boost your marks even more, have a look at my exam sprint videos. They are full of rapid exam practice.